Hello and welcome to this deployment sessions video on Windows 8 apps with me Simon May. In this video we're going to be taking a look at deep linking a Windows Store app and installing that app on a Windows RT device using Windows Intune. The first thing that we need to do is go and find the app in the Windows Store. So we'll move over to our reference machine, go to the Windows Store and then we'll search for the app that we want to deep link, in this case Skype. Once we've found the app, we'll go and view the information page for the app. And then the next thing that we're going to do is get a link to the app within the store. So we'll go across to the charms and select the sharing charm. Next, we'll go into the mail app. And the reason for doing this is that the mail app is just going to give us a link that we can take on into Windows Intune in order to be able to connect to the app. There you can see the link on screen right now. I'm just going to select all of that text and copy it into uh, my notepad application and I'm just going to then take just the URL out of the string that I actually copy. So the next thing we need to do is create the app inside of Windows Intune. Here you can see that we're inside the Windows Intune console. We're going to select software so that we can add some software into our Windows Intune environment. We'll then select managed software and from the toolbar we'll go and select the add software button. That will then download and start the add software wizard on our local machine. Now that the software is downloaded and started, we're going to sign into the software, into the Add Software Wizard, with the admin credentials for our Windows Intune tenant. And once that's happened, we get the Add Software Wizard. We'll read the uh, the Before You Begin screen, and then we'll hit the Next button down at the bottom of the screen. Then we need to select the type of installation that we want to make available. In this case, we're going to use External Link, because we're going to link to the Windows Store and I'm going to paste in the link for the app that I want to be deep linking. A couple of seconds later, the next button will become active, and I can move through to describe the software. In this case, we're deploying Skype, so I'm going to enter the publisher name, the name of the application as Skype, provide a little description for my end users to be able to use, and place it into a category. This is how the app is going to appear within our company portal, so I want to make sure this information is really clear to my end users. I'll hit next again move through the summary screen and very quickly also through the upload screen because obviously I'm not having to upload this software to the Windows Store it's already there. Next I'll just go back to the manage software node so that I can refresh the list of software you'll then see my Skype application has been added in and I'll now go and select the manage deployment option from the toolbar. I'm just going to deploy this out to my all users group but you could create a more granular group uh, just for the users of this particular application. I'm then going to select the one to make the install available and hit finish. And that's my app deployed out to my end users. Next I'm going to go and enroll my Windows RT device into Windows Intune. So in this case you can see I'm on my Windows RT device here and I'm going to go and search for company apps uh, on my device and we'll see that within the settings uh, view I will actually find the company apps uh, app. That will then require me to enter my details so I'll enter um, my end user credentials here and then we'll click OK and it's not going to be able to locate the server. The reason for this is that I've actually um, not provided all of the required uh, DNS setup um, for this particular Windows Intune tenant. You can find the information on how to do that on the Windows Intune portal. So I'll select the uh, option there to go and install the company portal. That will take me to a web page which will then have a link to the correct company portal for the type of device that I'm working on. In this case I'm working on a Windows RT device so it's going to take me across to the Windows Store. I then get the option to install the company portal app from the Windows Store.
and we can see that the app has now completed the installation so let's move back over to our start screen and go and launch the company portal app the first thing that it's going to ask us to do is to authenticate ourselves to sign in so we'll just do that and again we'll be providing exactly the same set of credentials for our end user that we've been using throughout this process And having signed in to the company portal, we'll now start to see all of the information that is available to our users through the company portal. So in this case, it'll have our fake URL limited company name, and we'll see some apps that we've already deployed. Next, we need to go and install the app that we deep linked earlier on in this video. So we'll go back into the company portal. and we'll make sure that we're signed in again And now that we're authorized, we get to see our company portal again. This time you can see that uh, we've done this after we've deployed the Skype application. So we can now go down to Skype. And that takes us to a screen telling us that the app is available in the Windows Store. So you get to see the curated effect that, you, uh, that your end users will see using the Windows Store and using the deep linking process through the company portal with Windows Intune. going to go ahead and finish off the Skype application install here and we'll move back to the start screen in a second so that we can actually see uh, the app finish its install process. We can see that the tile has already um, landed on the start screen and actually the status is set to installing and there's the app installed fully for us. Hopefully you've enjoyed this um, deployment sessions video on deep linking store apps to Windows RT devices using Windows Intune. Please go ahead and download the free evaluations of Windows Server 2012 and System Center to give this stuff a real tryout for yourself.